So, and we have our next in studio guest. Uh, actually, we have uh, this is this is part of our segment with uh, uh, Alexandra German. So, Alexandra, why don't you uh, say hello and introduce your guest? Uh, hello, and. Um Thank you, Barry. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Urban. Hi. Barry, you, you kind of tiptoed around that, okay? Because this is our women in business That's segment, true. and you were tiptoeing around for a well, reason that well, Alex can explain. Well, thank you for <laughs> pointing that out. <laughs> You're such a diplomat. He's such a gentleman. Let's get to it, well, Alex. Um, just like all guys. Well, I know. <laughs> my, my, my guest today is a man. Only because his wife is teaching and she sent her representative. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but he's a, he's a, let, let me tell you about our guest. And I want everyone to pay really close attention. Okay. Uh, because. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's so bossy, isn't she, Barry? <laughs> I'm staying out of this. I got in trouble already. <laughs> the word is yes, ma'am. Right. Well, the, the information... David will share can potentially change your life for the Ooh, better. Wow. And uh, I can attest to that because it changed my life for the better, uh, taking the seminars David is going to be talking about and reading books changed my life dramatically for the better wow. about eight months ago. So I want David to take the center stage and uh, I want everyone to welcome David Giantoli. Great. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Okay. So um, you are with PAX Programs, PAX uh, Community Connect, correct? Yes, sir. Great. Tell us a little bit about what you do. We offer um, programs and uh, seminars around uh, interpersonal communication between men and women. Oh. Specifically, creating partnership. Creating All partnership. All about converting a advers- typical adversarial relationship that a lot of us men and women have with each other. Even man to man, woman to woman, or even driving down the street, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of an adversarial situation and getting that converted into a true partnership. And that is a partnership defined by a relationship you want to be in with somebody. Okay. As opposed, adversarial is more of the tit for tat. I'm right. I'm doing this until you do this, or mm-hmm. this is mine, you can't have it kind of thing. Mm-hmm. We have that in employment. We have that in our interpersonal relationships. And so it's getting it converted into a partnership where you're truly in a co-creative relationship. Now you do this, I'm assuming, of course, by instructing men that women are always right. Yeah, I saw, I I was telling... uh, I mean, let's just get to the bottom line. I I was telling uh, the women uh, uh, right before this, I was in a restaurant and I was walking down the hallway and there was a restaurant, men and women on either side, and there was a sign at the end of the hallway and say, men are on the left because women are always right. (laughs) (laughs) No, I like that. I need that sign. (laughs) This all started about 30 years ago uh, uh, by a woman named Alison Armstrong. And you can look her up on YouTube. She's got amazing information on YouTube. Allison A. Armstrong. And she's from uh, uh, Orange County okay. here in California. Uh, she just moved to uh, Colorado. Uh, an amazing woman, amazing woman, who started all this because she was having trouble in her relationship. You know, she was in her mid-20s. Um, she'd just gotten a grant to figure out what the homeless is going all about. And meanwhile, her personal relationships are going downhill. And she's like, I got to figure out what's going on with me and then realize with this grant, she realized half the people are homeless were, were children. She's like, I gotta get the children back in the houses. And then all of a sudden Don, how am I gonna get the children? The children feel safer out on the street than they do in their homes. Mm. And here I am having an interpersonal relationship. I'm smart. I'm speaking from Allison's point of view. <laughs> right. I'm smart. Why can't I have a, a, an amazing relationship with a man? So she decided to do all this uh, research on every man she ran into and mm. started asking the same questions. And got very similar answers and started collecting this body of of data and information, started sharing with the girlfriends. One thing leads to another. Now we're fast forward to 30 years have gone by and she's had seminars and all this sort of stuff. And myself, I met my wife some six years ago and was introduced to this this body of work. And um, the first day I asked my wife, Corinne, who's a co-leader in our community here in San Diego, um, what do you do? And she's a personal coach, but she also manages these PAX courses here. And what's PAX? And she gave me this CD called In Sync with the Opposite Sex. And I remember it was a, a Friday night, and I or Saturday night, first date. And I took it home, and it was about 11:30. I popped the CD in, and I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing information! Wow. Everyone needs to hear it. I was so excited about this. Really? So excited about this information. It wasn't I wasn't wrong, and she wasn't wrong. It was just new information that gave me a whole different perspective 
on what's going on with the interaction, in, interaction between us, and I can give you m more examples. I called her at about midnight after the date, and like, I don't know if I can say this on ro the, the radio, but I go, this isn't a booty call. This is amazing <laughs> information. This is amazing. Everyone needs to have this, and they need to have it when they're a teenager, so they don't go wow. through all the drama. Mm -hmm. And so, well stated. We don't need to edit that out, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been giving this. Uh, I went through all the courses, um, and my um, my uh, I have two sons, 22 and 18, and I've been giving them, as I call it, drip feed of this information through their teenage years, and they don't have any drama with their girlfriends. Well, wow, that's awesome. They don't have any drama with their girlfriends because it's just so clear and easy. Well, and, um, well, as a as a woman, um, I. As I said, I, I took this course about eight months ago, and I was going through a really bad breakup. So the first course I took was because I wanted to go take a seminar to make, you know, confirm that I'm right and he's wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right behind you, Alexi. Yeah, and I, I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting for that time when I'm going to get this confirmation that mm -hmm. I'm right and he's wrong. And, I, and my whole point of view, my whole... My whole everything that I know is changing, and I go, oh, oh, I did that. Oh no! And I said that, you know, after two days, I walked out of there, mm -hmm. and I actually I, I called Sean. I said I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, and and if, even though the, like that relationship is irreparable, but going forward. I know what not to do. So right. all my relationships are so much better with mm -hmm. both men and women. Mm -hmm. And it basically boils down to how we talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And it, it's the right. language is only 10,000 years old. And we are here on the planet millions of years. Right. right, right. So how, how we talk to each other, it, it's actually a root of a lot of problems. And... Even David was saying in the room how appreciated he feels in his marriage. And I'll let you speak more. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You're doing, go a, great, ahead. You're yeah. doing a great job. <laughs> yeah. so, so your program is uh, uh, online. Do people attend the meetings or how is it? Done? Yeah, we have several things going on. And the whole point is about two or three years ago, um, those of us that have been very active in uh, these programs um, with Alison Armstrong, we were like, we got to get this information out. And so what she did is she created, empowered us, um, a group of us who've gone through some um, more intensive training to give the information out free in uh, community shared teachings. So um, on our website, uh, we actually, uh, for our, our what we call our free shared teachings, um, you can go to uh, Understand Men San Diego. And it's not just about men. It's men and women. It's just a legacy, right? 30 mm, years ago, it. she was tr trying to, just like what <laughs> Alexandra was just saying, it's what's going on with the guys. You know, you know from this conversation, I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, you're being I'm awfully gonna, quiet over there, Barry. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to change the name of this segment of the show. It's going to be called Women in Control, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not about that. Let me give you an example. Example. Uh, have you ever lost your keys, Barry? Uh, occasionally, yes. Right. Okay. There's a reason why men lose their keys or lose simple things. You know, I tend to work out uh, at lunchtime, you know, I, and I bring my own soap because I don't like the smelly soaps in the gym. You know how many soaps I've left in the shower? Well, there's a reason why I do that. We're single focused as men. Right. Well, that sets us up for a lot of interaction problems with women who are what we call defer diffused aware. You know, women diffused. can walk in. Yeah, well, you can walk in, as a female, you can mm -hmm. walk in a room, you know what, everything's on the wall, where mm -hmm. everything is. Right. Right, that's why you're the great key finder. Right. And I we're am, the great yeah. key loser because when mm -hmm. we come in the house, we're not focused on where we're putting our keys. We're not focused on anything except what our next task is. And that mm -hmm. could be the transition of getting out of our work clothes, getting into our gardening clothes, or relaxing, Whatever. or right. reading the newspaper. That's why we lose our keys. I thought when I was at the gym, I said, I know this information. So I thought, okay, instead of bringing a little bar of soap to the gym, I'm going to bring a, a bottle of liquid soap that's big. Guess how many bottles I left in the gym? <laughs> because uh, I work out, I'm going to get to the shower, I'm going to get back to my office as quick as possible. I'm not thinking of right. that. And plus, I don't have the, uh, the, the ability to view like the typical female does, that mm -hmm. kind of be able to scan everything and see what's going on and where mm -hmm. everything is. You know, it's almost opposite in business. Women <laughs> tend to be focused on the goal where men get scattered, to, shall I say, all over the place. It's uh, mm. fascinating. Uh, a question. Uh, veterans. Uh, 
uh, is the program geared for them because of uh, disputes and uh, marriages mainly uh, of uh, veterans right now is a, is a big thing. A lot of veterans are getting divorced due to PTSD and other psychological or other reasons. Yeah, those are really good questions. Uh, we very gratefully um, have been went through the approval process to work uh, get our programs into the Wounded Warrior Program here at Camp Pendleton. Oh, wonderful. And what a blessing. Um, you know, we have these people that, men and women, that go out and outside our bounds of our country and do things and come back. And um, I've done a little research, and, you know, it's I'm compelled with uh, one of our other um, volunteers, uh, Sabrina, um, who's really active in Wounded Warrior, and we are compelled to bring the whole person back, not just their body, but their mind, body, spirit, soul. And when you have someone coming back from any event, even if, if it's just locally and having personal issues from past poor relationships of a family and they're bringing that forward, you know, making that transition to come back and heal and move on and be all that you can be for, for your family. You know, and your neighbors. I mean, these people are, everyone's our neighbor. You know, we have relationships with everyone. And um, it's, I, I can't, I'm kind of getting choked up just yeah, thinking about how I exciting am, yeah. we are, how excited we are to um, be part of this. So we gave a, um, a, a um, we, we the uh, Wounded Warrior Battalion leadership team, um, I gave a presentation called the uh, Hunter Gather. It's one of the foundation pieces that we do. And it talks about the difference between typically masculine and feminine roles uh, uh, of, of behavior where men or masculine is always the single focus. And women are single focused. Women can bounce back and forth between this diffused mm-hmm. aware and single focus, right? Oh, I can be quite singularly focused. You've got to get something, <laughs> you have, you've got to get something done. Yeah. If you're d- constantly distracted with everything pulling you equally all over mm-hmm. the place, you're just going to get overwhelmed. But you're right. right? Primarily, I am a diffused aware. Right. I've never heard of it thought right. ex- explained like that exactly. before. Exactly. So that's why, and because of those perspectives of how we are, and this is kind of a primitive instinct that we still carry with us, you think that as a female, if you, unless you, this distinction has been presented to you, you don't know that I can't see the whole world like you do. Mm-hmm. Why is that sock on the ground that I walked past 12 times mm-hmm. at home, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I'm am. not looking mm-hmm. for a sock on the ground. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of my daughter <laughs> Again, now, you're okay, awfully quiet over there. Well, we are running short on time. Oh, Tell our you're... listeners how they can find out more about... Go ahead, Alexander. Well, I, just, I just want to piggyback on something that you said and uh, make all the women that are listening happy right now. Guess what? You have never been ignored by a man if he was doing something else at the same time. Because men have no capacity to pay attention to two things at once. So if he's watching TV and you think he's ignoring you, he's not. He's watching TV because he's single focused. Ah. Yep. You that's did, you that's just a relief, up huh? A whole lot of yeah. with that statement, girl. <laughs> wow. And you wonder why I'm quiet. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, we have more and more of this. Um, you can get a hold of us a, a few ways. One, you can email me directly, David at understandmen.com, just like it's spelled. You can get involved in our meetup. Join our meetup at understandmensandiego.com, and that's our website. It'll funnel you right into the meetup group. And you'll see what we have posting there. We have everything from the courses we're talking about here to healing courses and that sort of stuff. And my, yeah, my wife is one of the teachers. We have several um, community teachers here in town. And then there's a a weekend events that uh, like uh, Alexandra was talking about, and you can get those at understandmen.com. Great. Awesome. Great. Well, we appreciate you being with us. I have a lot of great ideas, even though I didn't share them on air. Uh, I know. Next time. You were so, you were too quiet over there, boss. Barry's on thin ice. I know. (laughs) Barry's on thin ice. It's not the first time. It's just the first time you've seen it. Yeah. (laughs) You were paying attention. (laughs) (laughs) You're a single focus. (laughs) Barry, you have my email okay we can have we can have coffee anytime yeah <laughs> okay. thanks for being with us uh this is close up on sending a business here on kcbq streaming live at am 1170 the answer.com send us a tweet at close up sd or just find our page on facebook you can always email me at barry close up let me know what you think i'm your host barry waxler we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors Today.